Hey, today we're making chicken cacciatore. It is a great meal, especially for the fall months. Um, I'm sauteing the onions to start with to season the oil. I've got onions and some garlic in here. And then we're going to dredge the chicken into seasoned flour and brown it and all. And then we're going to place them in a casserole dish along with the other ingredients. Or if you want to, you can do it in a crock pot and cook it for about four, three hours in a crock pot or four and it's great. This is a meal that will go for more than one time. You can serve it with egg noodles to start with. One day you can do it another day with whipped potatoes and another day you can serve it with rice. Uh, I use chicken thigh meat and some breast meat, all boneless. Um, if you've got a lot of boys in the family, then you can put in a few legs to go with it. But it's okay. As you can see, we're dredging the chicken now. It's in flour, and with to the flour, I add the sassy, even sassy spices, and then some ground pepper. Shake off the excess flour and just place it in the pan. I'm placing them into the casserole. Okay, as you can see, I've put the rest of the chicken in to brown up now. And then we're going to start with the condiments and all that go on it. I've all the frying up all the chicken, wash my hands off, and we're on to the next part of this now. Now we're going to make a sauce to go with this. I'm using some wine to get all the good juices from, from the frying of the chicken and all, browning it. And once I've got all the good parts moved in together, chicken out of the way for a moment and I'm going to start with the did I use I'm adding the bell peppers red and green and sauteing them in the sauce here mixing them all in along with the cut tomatoes fresh tomatoes and then I'm adding the mushrooms Let all of this cook up just to get it mixed good in the sauces before you pour it onto the chicken in the casserole dish. Add a little bit more of the seasoning. Right, again, that is the sassy seasoning, very on. Well, I can, you can do me the whole thing, I'm just going to pour it in. Now I'm going to add chicken stock to go with this. I've poured every, all the ingredients together now on the dish, baking dish. The foil loosely. To bake in the oven at 350 and I'm going to let it bake for 50 minutes to an hour and 
After 35 minutes or so, I will take the top off and add the parsley and some more chopped garlic together to go on the top and then put it back in to finish baking off until it's finished.